Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I'm really happy to have you here as we keep working in this little DIY art journal. This book was really wanting to stand open a lot and that's a good thing if I want to put it on display, but I pulled out this pink piece of fabric with the white polka dots. I thought it would be really cute to just tie around this to sort of keep it closed and, you know, looking like a, a cute little journal all tied up. So let's take this off and I have a couple of things I wanna do right off the bat. Where this is separating up here, I want to put a little bit of glue uh, because I do want that to stay flat and not tear apart. We've got quite a nice mess going on. It's really cold out here today. It's about 30 degrees. I have the heater going. The workshop is not completely warmed up yet, but I have quite a few layers on. I wanted to add some white to the cover. I just kind of think we, we need it. And let's turn this over because I also want to put some white on top of that tear. We have the glue under there, but I'm going to add some white paint as well. And it can be quite a big, quite a big blob there. It almost looks like a big cloud over the house. I'm going to take just a minute and dry this and I will be right back. I like the way the white sort of lightens up the front of the journal. Uh, this cardboard had quite a bit of gold. Another thing I did was take my black ink pen and make marks around this word glam. I, I feel like that makes a big difference, even though it's subtle. Uh, this is drying. I'll try not to make a mess with that. It's pretty much dry at this point, uh, but probably not completely 100% dry. I did go back through and read a little bit more about some of the women who are pictured in this collage sheet. This is Frances. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Goba or Koba. It's G-Q-O-B-A. There is not very much known about her, but she was a part of the African choir and they toured uh, Victorian England in 1891. Uh, I just think she's adorable. It's amazing what you can learn. Like if you see something that really calls out to you, like her picture did to me, and you look them up, print them out, use them in art, whatever, you know, personal art, as long as you're respectful of copyright and that sort of thing. It is amazing what you learn if you start to research and it opens up a world of history and like personal achievements of some of these people and loss and just how powerful people were when they stood for their truth or, you know, I don't have to get into all of that. I think you know what I'm talking about. But it's been really fun to learn more about some of these things. It's been very touching. Fun may not even be the right word. Um, the whimsical things are fun. The serious things, it's very sobering to think about what we have and maybe what we take for granted. So I did go back to and add some writing around this page. This is Lillian Parker Thomas, uh, a journalist. She was a, a good writer, a good speaker. I do love the way this page turned out. Every time I look at all of this crazy writing and just these little loops, I think, oh, you know, it looks like three or four people talking at one time. And here we have this beautiful page. It's interesting that I ended up putting a heart on her chest. Uh, without really even knowing her complete story, uh, Lucy Parsons, was married to someone who was hanged at the age of 39 for being um, an activist. Again, I will just say that it's amazing what you learn, what you discover when you start re researching these old photographs and things that you're drawn to. All right, this is where we are currently, and I already know what I wanna do with this. I wanna bring more texture and textiles into some of these spreads. Not a huge amount. I want us to be able to use things that we have on hand. And again, with this whole series, you can feel free to expand on any of these concepts. You can use whatever materials you have. You can stick with just what we're using here. 
So I'm going to put her on this page, but before I do that, I want to take some book text to put behind her. And I sort of want it to just be a square. Let's think about her going here. And we're gonna make her a skirt out of paper pieces and string and maybe some little trinkets or charms. Uh, this painting is called The Beautiful Reader. I put all of the credits in each video description of where these photographs came from. One of them just says public domain because I cannot remember who the artist is. I have scoured my digital files and I can't find it. I know that I will at some point and I will go back in and add it. If anybody knows, feel free to tell me. All right, before we put her on the page, I did dig a little deeper into my supplies to pull out some different colors of pink because I've been sort of using the same ones and I want to add some different colors. It's going to be the same color palette, so it's all going to be good, but it is nice to bring in some different colors. And let's just take, I need to get some fresh water. Let's just sort of put some water on this paint and this watercolor crayons. Some of them will, you know, we're not going to do too much. We like to have the lines in there too. Well, let's glue this down and let's start making a skirt. I love that we have all of these little paper scraps to use. Oh, this is so funny. I've got to glue this in. That came off of my sweater this morning, that little stream. I'm going to keep gluing down little strips of paper, and I will be back. Okay, I want to start talking again at this point and show you what I've done. Um, I've got paper strips. I've got very delicate little strings, uh, all sorts of things, but I want to put like a waistband here and that will kind of hold these strings into place. Um, I've even got one, one string that's a little bit heavy. Uh, it's this pink one that is curled around and it's got the little bird hanging from it. We could add more to this and we might. Uh, I kind of wish I had added a little bit more on the other side, but I think this is okay. I, um, yeah, I think it's okay. You know how we can just keep coming back and adding things. I'm gonna get some of the extra glue out of here if I can and dry this a little bit. Okay, we've got this dried quite a bit. Uh, not sure I'm done with the skirt, but I think you get the idea of this. Now I'm gonna go back out here because while I was digging around, I found two charms that I've had for a while and just have not used. One of them is this beautiful pink heart. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that onto the outside here. Hopefully that's gonna stay. And then we have another one that says dream, and I love that. You know, that's something that a change maker does. They, they dream about things. They dream about something different. They dream about something better. I don't know, I just, I really like this. We may add more before it's over, but this is, when I found these, I said they have to go on the journal. I love that they're pink and I love the heart and I love the word dream. Maybe I shouldn't have added them yet uh, because you know how messy I can be, but we can always protect these somehow if I'm doing something messy, you know, we can wrap them up in some paper. And just put a little paper clip on it. So let's get back over here to what we're working on. I do like this a lot. Uh, I love these little delicate threads in here. For this page, I was thinking about the flowers that we made back here and I love those. I love the way they turned out. So I thought I would make some black flowers. Maybe we will end up with sort of some layers 
Maybe this will do. Kind of a white pencil. Let's see. I'm going to make five of these. Or wait. Maybe just three. I'm going to do three. I do want an odd number. Uh, I thought about having them all the way down the page, but no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I just want them right in the center. So let's quickly cut these out, and we're going to cut so that the white marks stay on here. Our three flowers are cut out. Let's go ahead and glue those into place. They can stick out a tiny bit, but I don't want them to stick out too far because I know the paper will just end up getting bent, especially if I have something tied around the journal. So let's put that there. And I'm gonna use some white paint in addition to the white pencil mark and just go right around the edge. It's okay if it's messy. I love these little gem stickers so much. Uh, I hate to, hate to repeat something like this, but there's also nothing wrong with repeating something that you really like. Pull that little piece of I love these. I love the way that looks. I think I'm going to add a little bit of pink inside each petal. And don't worry about perfection. There's a phrase that I want to put on this page that I think about from time to time, not a lot. Uh, there's a magnet on my refrigerator that reflects the sentiment. And I'm trying to decide if I want to stamp it into place or just write it out. Get that pink paint out of the way. Put that right back there. Uh, let's see, we're just gonna have to find all of our letters to do this. We might do some small letters and some big letters. Okay, here's what I'm looking for right away. The word my. Some black ink, my. I might have to trace around that. Looking pretty weak there. And then for these next letters, I know I want my bigger stamps. Man, it is cold out here today. My hands are cold my life. Now let's go back to our little, little letters. I love these little, um, they snap together, these little letters, and I use them a lot, is, I was lucky enough to find this handmade stamp. My life is art. You can write this out in all different letters. Uh, lettering is a really fun thing to do. We can scribble some over here. We could make tiny little curly cue or whatever. We can add some outlines and scribbles to the skirt to give it some definition. I think about this a lot because really what we wear, you know, if you have clothes that make you happy, I think you feel better when you're out. Life is just too short, you know, to, to not allow yourself to live, to live your art, to live like an artist, if that's what you want to do. I've still got this little, sort of like this little template that we made. And I'm wondering if I can somehow stay inside of it to give us a, a flower shape over here and some bright pink. Kind of 
kind of. I think we can make that work. Oh, that's a lot of paint. I didn't mean to put out quite so much, but we will use it. You know, we will. Let's put a big blob of white right in the center. And when that dries, we may come back with gold or some other color. This is what we ended up with the final journal spread for this page. For now, we might come back and add a touch of gold paint or maybe a few more pretty strings into her skirt. My life is art. This is a really good thought to keep in your mind every day. Surround yourself with things that you love. Wear what you love. Wear what makes you happy. Everything that we do can become art. The way we feather our nests or make our houses the way we speak to others, the way we carry ourselves. I hope you got something from this journal spread that can help you in your art journals. I appreciate every one of you so very much. I appreciate the comments more than I can say. I'm very happy to have you here. I'll be back really soon with the next journal spread. Bye for now.